don't even know where to begin. So I obviously have been taking a break from filming. Excuse the lighting, I did take down all my lighting and you know I just kind of needed, I just felt like it was overtaking my life as far as oh my gosh I need to film this, oh my gosh I need to film this and I wasn't managing my time very well. So I decided back in around Thanksgiving time that I just needed to take a long break. And to be honest, I thought it was going to be a more permanent, like, break <laughs> or done. And of course, I still watched videos and I commented on a lot still. And I mean, I still watch pretty much everyone's videos and stuff because I can't give that up. But I... I think I just needed to reevaluate how I'm going to do the filming and all of that and also um, my makeup spending was just out of control and I felt like I was buying just to buy and I never used to really be that way so I needed to just like I said evaluate my life and my YouTube life and go from there and so what I have decided is and I've canceled a lot of my boxes because I was receiving um, so much product that I couldn't even and then buying product I was not using anything and it was getting kind of pathetic <laughs> that I have all I've spent all this money on makeup and I couldn't even use it so I now am going to still do unboxing because I love subscription boxes but I have pretty much canceled okay how many do I still have I still do BoxyCharm and Glossy Box because those two are my absolute favorite and you don't always get makeup it is a lot of skincare stuff too and then um what other ones do I have? Star Looks. I'm shocking, I think. I kept that one because I'm really liking everything they send me. The only thing that I haven't liked was, I mean, of course, my first box I got from them, like, almost a year ago. Crazy. And the eyebrow palette, just because I'm, I'm not a eyebrow person like I stay I've stuck I stick with what I like and I don't venture out like I do with everything else makeup related so anyways so I decided to have my channel because I don't want to stop because I do really like it and I like how I've met a lot of people on here and all of that I don't want to lose those connections so I thought I would instead of doing just a lot of hauls and unboxings and stuff like that is I would do more of other type obviously videos <laughs> so I got kind of inspired I've been watching as the new year I've been watching a lot of the pan the palettes and inventory stuff it got me thinking how I need to really go through my makeup and um, use it I guess <laughs> it's the it's what the word and so that's what my first video is going to be about. I am going to be working on this year in 2015 on really just purchasing items that I know one that I love or two if I'm still trying to find that perfect product for whatever it is you know that hopefully once I find that I can stick to it. I'm not going to say I'm not going to buy anything fun anymore, but I just, I need, well after I go through my inventory you'll see why I need, I need a, I need, I need an overhaul. So I was going to go through my makeup inventory. I'm not going to show you what I have, I'm just going to tell you what I have and I guess if you're interested in seeing any of these categories I wouldn't mind um, filming that I just the video would be like 30 years long and I take it that some of my areas of makeup I don't have that much product because I really do find what I like in certain things and I stay with that and excuse the mess behind I was counting my makeup so it's everywhere and okay so 
and then I okay so some I some areas of makeup it's like oh you don't have that many and that's really good and that's great and some it is ridiculous I think for anybody um, and I know a lot of people on here are makeup artists and they have an insane um, makeup collections and that is great if it's your way of living and it's even nice as a hobby I mean it is a hobby of mine I truly enjoy makeup I think it is just so much fun to play around with and all of that so that's my there's my lung intro. <laughs> so let's just get into this. And I have it broken up into face stuff, lip stuff, eye stuff. So I'm just going to start with my face stuff. And I'm going to, I guess, tell you how many I have and kind of what I would like to do with that category, I guess. So my first category is the foundations. And I have seven foundations. And they're all full size. I don't think I usually get sample foundations and if I do maybe I don't really I probably use it once and throw it out um because I kind of with foundations I stick with what I like I've used Revlon Color State for years until a year ago when I finally broke down and bought Stay Lauder Double Wear and like I said I kind of I know I I kind of stick with what I like and I don't venture out if it makes my if I feel good in it with foundation I don't move on so that's seven is probably I'm looking there's quite a bit of that I only I only go through my Essie Ladder one and my Revlon so I probably need to just either give away the rest or try and throw those in and use them up just to use them up but seven I didn't think that was too many so I don't know all right, primers, and this includes any, um, only, well, it's only face primers, and it includes uh, um, full size as well as samples. But samples had to be, you know, a good size. It couldn't be like a one use sample. I'm talking like these sizes, um, you know are a little bit bigger but a lot of so I'm talking these because these last me literally months I don't know why but they do and so this is kind of ridiculous because and I think the reason I have so many BB or primers is because they do last so long and I have 20 so obviously I don't need to buy any primers which I, I haven't I think the last primer I bought was the benefit professional and I don't even use that anymore because I think that was what was breaking me out but I still can't figure it out totally. But anyways, so obviously I know I won't be buying any of those. I can control myself around primers, but I definitely would like to use up at least the samples. Um, and if I find that they break me out, I need to just toss them or give them away instead of holding on to them, you know. So there is that. And the BB and CC creams intended moisturizers. So BB and CC creams, I have 16 I think that's kind of where I was spending my money as far as on, on foundation because I know what I like, but I've always been trying to find a good BBC C cream, and I still don't think I found the perfect one, but I need to use up those. So th I'm, that is my goal as far as face stuff is to use my primers and BB creams and free up some space from that stuff. All right, then with finishing sprays, I only have three. I'm happy with that. I have a dewy one. I have the matte uh, Mac Fix Plus and a more, um, it's the Urban, I can't remember the name, the Urban Decay like lotion, like moisturizing one. And I'm happy with that. I don't feel like I need to use up any. I don't go out and buy those, obviously. So I thought that was a great number. <laughs> Concealers. I have 22 and <laughs> I don't know why. That includes a few samples as well, but mostly full size and I only alternate between two or three of them. So obviously I don't need to buy, I think what it is is I keep buying my normal concealer when I run out and I don't ever go and use my ones 
what is that? I don't, I, I don't use the ones that I know I don't like or weren't great. I, I just need to get rid of them because why do I hold on to them? Because they're probably, half of them are probably bad. I mean, I don't know. And why keep stuff that I don't, you know what I mean? Because I know I've bought in concealer a lot this past year and it's always the same two products. Maybe three, but two for sure. So yeah, I need to, I need to work on getting those out. Um, translucent powder, I have six of those and I really go through four of them are probably ones that I rotate through. So if I could just use up a couple that I don't like or again pass them on, I am really happy with that category and what I, and what I have in that. Um, loose powder, I have eight and I know the reason why I have eight is because I went through a kick to try and do, well, bare minerals, which didn't work for me, and, well, any mineral type um, foundations, and I didn't like them. So they, I probably have eight that I've bought in my whole life still. Like, <laughs> I've never, I never use them. I just don't like loose powder. I need to, just, again, I just need to toss it or get rid or just give it away. Pressed powder, I have 13. And the reason for that is is a, a same like concealer. I think I use two that I rotate between and I don't touch the rest ever. Ever. So I need to, and a lot of them are still in their packaging. I need to probably just, that's kind of depressing. That's a lot. Well, we haven't gotten to the problem areas yet. Okay, so I have eyebrows, I have 17. And I only use two and I that is it and that's all I've used for probably the past two or three years so obviously the other 15 I've had for who knows how long I need to just toss them out I think I'm afraid that like the world will end and I will not have an eyebrow pencil and all those eyebrow pencils that I could have used I tossed <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I've been watching The Walking Dead I'm finally catching up so maybe not that I care about I not that I would care about eyebrows if we were being overtaken by zombies, but who knows? So okay. Now we're getting into the pathetic stuff. So bronzers, and this is what is funny, because I don't like bronzer. Um I think that was breaking me out, and so I've stopped using bronzers. Very rare would I use one. And I have 17. So, and two of those are sample, but they're not. They're the Chocolate Soleil, you know, by Too Faced. So they're, I mean, it could probably take me years to just to finish that. And I do like those. So that is ridiculous. I need to figure out, again, what I like and just use that and not try to venture out in an area that I know I don't experiment with so silly um now the next two are probably a couple of my favorite items to not only purchase but to play around with and to I don't want to say I'm trying to find the perfect item but maybe I get tired of items so I don't know if I'll ever have that perfect item that I use all the time but anyways Highlighters, I have 36, um, all full size. A couple that are like these, well two. All the rest are big and I will never get through it. I love highlighters, as you can tell. I just, I love them. It is probably, seriously, my most, I want to say my most favorite, it's it's one of my top favorite things to purchase and um, yeah I need help on that one so the next one is blush and I broke it down into five categories I just don't want to get so I'll start with the smaller ones loose blush as in mineral blush I have two and I, I don't think I've ever used either of them. I think I've received them in um, subscription boxes. And I'm again, I'm just not a loose mineral type makeup user. So do I... Obviously, I know I don't have a problem in buying those. And 
I guess if I'm not going to use them, I think one's still even wrapped in plastic. <laughs> I just need to toss it or give them away. Liquid blush, and those were, I didn't include cream, it's liquid. It's like the um, Benetent and stuff that is really liquidy, not cream. And I have four of those. I, again, I probably need to get rid of those because I don't want to ever buy them. So I've received all of those from subscription boxes as well or whatever. And I am really picky about my blush because I have such insensitive skin that in this area is an area I've been breaking out within the last six months or a year maybe at the most. And I never have in my entire life. So... I know that blush bothers my skin so I have to be and I think that's why I have so much is because I'm trying to find a blush that doesn't break me out and I don't know if I can find one but anyways so that's terrible or those aren't bad but I don't use any all six of those I don't use so okay so cream blushes I have 17 which is funny because I hate cream products the reason I have 17 who knows and I can't even blame all that on subscription boxes because I have purchased a lot of them myself and it's terrible I really need to go through those and figure out okay these ones I know for sure break me out and just get rid of them and I don't know so then I have powdered blush that are singles and I have 54 I think I remember clearly stating in one of my earlier videos that I'm not a blush girl. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. 54. I was shocked at that. I mean, I knew I had a lot, but I mean, that's a lot. And then what's even worse is I have an, another category for blush palettes. And for me to consider them a palette, they had to have obviously two or more in them and I have 22 blush palettes that I think I've never touched many of them this is really bad okay so let's move on to the eye category and this one again is super sad don't judge me I have issues so let's just start eye primers I have 17 that includes a lot of samples but I have to say these samples last me forever I think I've been using the Too Faced shadow insurance sample size you know it's like this big and it's skinny I think I've been using that for almost a year and it's still not empty like I'm never gonna I don't think I've ever bought an eye primer myself none I don't think I've ever bought one and all of them I've been given to me so I know I don't need to worry about me buying more not that I need any more having that many but I know it's not an, a problem an area a, a problem area for me so 17 I need, I need to use them up I just I don't have to figure out how to use them up because I'm stuck on my Mac paint pot which isn't even a primer it's not included in the 17 and that's what I've been using for probably the last two months so I haven't even been touching those <laughs> anyways okay so let's do liners liquid liners I have seven and those are cream or liquid so whether they're the like felt tip liquidy pen or they're the gel in the pot uh, I only have seven I'm happy with that. I think most of them are black. I think I have a couple blues, but um, I have my Holy Grail item, so I don't know. I'm probably just going to have to go through those and throw them out if they're dried up because I only use my Bobbi Brown black gel liner. That's like my Holy Grail awesome tight line, water line liner. This is the part I'm afraid to talk about, <laughs> and it is eyeliners. and. I bet you most of them are black, but I have 124 eyeliners, and that is terrible. And that is including full size or minis, whether I received those free or I've bought in kits that have a bunch of minis, that includes all of that. Does that make it sound better? I don't know. But 124, and I probably rotate through like 10, 
that I love that I I think I'm just trying to find the perfect eyeliner maybe that is what this is I don't know okay let's get into the more depressing stuff and it's eyeshadow or let's do mascaras first <laughs> mascaras is 32 and that includes you know the samples and it's a lot but I have to say I have probably not bought a mascara since the summer and I have no intention of buying one now I keep getting them in um, kits like the little sample so I never have to, I don't think I ever have to buy mascara for years I'm not depressed I'm not annoyed with that number only because I know most of them are sample size and I didn't technically pay for them so but I need to use them up but the ones that I've opened at least I need to like move through those fast okay so single shadows so I have single powder shadows and cream singles and pigments so I have 14 pigments not that many, I don't think, but I don't ever use them, so I don't know if that's a lot, but for not using them, it kind of is, I guess. I don't know. And then cream singles, again, this is kind. This includes the cream in the pots or cream in the stick form, both of those, like the NYX Jumbo Pencils or the MAC Paint Pots, um, the Maybelline tattoo, you know, anything creamy. And I have 61 of those. They probably will dry up before I even use any of them. And there's probably a lot that I haven't ever touched. So I think I just think I need every color. I think that's the problem. Single eyeshadow or powder singles, I have 65. And... I really didn't think this was so bad. This is bad. My husband should kill me. It wasn't he's going to. He really should. <laughs> he should just stop me now. Okay, then I broke down my palettes. So I have the duos, trios, quads, and then my big palettes. So palettes had to have obviously more than four, and I considered them a palette. So duos, I have 12. And I have to say, most of my duos, trios, and quads are drugstore. And my, all, pretty much all of my palettes are higher end. I don't know why that would be, but it's really dark in here. I'm so sorry. I need to get my lights out again since I'm going to start filming. So I want to phase out my duos. I've decided I'm not going to buy any more duos anymore. And I have 18 trios. So that's a lot right there between the duos and the trio. I need to work through those. Quads, I have 25 quad palettes. And I don't know, I don't need to buy any of those, but I don't know if I'm gonna even buy those. I, so then on my eyeshadow palettes, I have 67 eyeshadow palettes. That is why I need help. And I'm going to, I can't tell you I'm not going to buy any more palettes because they are like my downfall. Definitely don't need to buy any, not that that will stop me. I need to work through them. I don't know how to stop that one. I'm just thinking if I had, like I said, if I had the perfect palette, I would be happy and wouldn't have to have all of this. Let me finish up. Last is lips. And lips are obviously, I didn't think I was a lip girl, and I obviously am. So I thought I had no lip liners. I was like, oh, I have a few. I have 37 lip liners. Again, I never use, I probably use one or two, and that's it. So I need to, like, figure that out there. Um, liquid lipsticks, so, like, lip stains or, um, like, Too Faced Melted, anything that's liquidy, consistency but lipstick not gloss I have 22 of those I don't think that's that bad but you know that didn't shock me what shocked me was lip glosses because I hate lip gloss and and probably quite a few of these are um, sample sizes probably I would say a third of them are probably sample sizes, but I have 61 glosses. And the reason that number will probably never go down is I don't think I've ever finished a lip gloss in my life. So 
I don't know about that one. But here is the kicker, is I have 337 lipsticks. And they're probably all the same color. I don't know how people use lipsticks. I don't, like, maybe I don't use it right because I don't think I've ever finished a lipstick. I was just saying, I just put this one on. This is my smallest lipstick out of my whole collection. Every other lipstick I have, pretty much, look brand new. Except for Lovecraft by Kat Von D. Uh, that one's probably halfway gone, but I have two backups. <laughs> because that... I think I'm always trying to find the perfect nude, and then the perfect red, and then the perfect mauve color. And then the, I think that's my problem. So I buy, like, every, you know, color I can find in that, and... I am never using any of them. So I think, so all in all, this, it was a really eye opener doing this um, inventory of my makeup. It kind of made me realize how out of control some of the things I was buying can get. And I really want to work harder on buying items that I know I will use and love and not just items because they look pretty or they might look nice like the eyeliners I have like I probably have probably 75% of my eyeliners are black why I don't know I don't need to buy eyeliner for like 20 years I probably should go through those two and see if any dried up because I did find one silver one when I was trying to put on my daughter and it was completely dried so I probably need to go through and figure out what of those needs to be just tossed out but Anyways, I'm glad to be back. This was my kind of purge moment and getting it all out there that this year I am really going to work hard at downsizing my collection as far as just having things that I know I use, wear, and are not going to go bad before I get to them. Hope you, none of you are mad that I left for so long. I just needed a break. So thank you guys so much. Please leave a comment and let me know what your weakness is in your collection. What do you buy a lot of that you need help stopping? Because <laughs> I have just gave all mine out to you guys so you know my problems. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to talking to you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.